Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for August 12th. What am I trying to say? August 2021. Yes, that's where we are. August, this is your love life reading. I don't normally do readings just for love life, but that is what I'm doing. There seems to be, and I'm not trying to worry you or anything, there seems to be a lot of final decisions being made in the month of August, which I kind of predicted back in June. Not not necessarily endings, but but final decisions, okay? Uh, back in end of May and June, because we were in Mercury retrograde at that time, and everyone was second guessing themselves in deep thought, not knowing what to do. Well, that's Mercury retrograde for you is we go back and reconsider things that are going on. It, it's That's the opportunity for us to do that. And I said, you know, I don't think a lot of people are gonna be making big decisions until July or maybe even into August. And here we are, and people are making big final decisions. You've got, by the book, I'm gonna scoot this camera back a little bit there, Sag, okay. Uh, which means just following the rules, following universal laws, um, you know, looking at details, right? Making sure you've got your details taken care of. Truth be told, okay, this might be finding out the truth about something, you digging for truth about something, Sagittarius, and higher power being guided by spirit. So let's see what this is all about. What is the truth, Sagittarius? How are you feeling about your love life at this time? Are you happy being single? Are you with someone? Are you getting into a new relationship, getting out of a relationship? We'll see what spirit has to say and what message they have for some of you. It's probably not going to resonate with all of you, but... For some of you, it will resonate. So just take what you can and leave the rest, Sagittarius. Angels, teachers, guides, please help me guide Sagittarius in their love life for the month of August. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Sagittarius, thank you. Love life. If you're new to the channel, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> if you are returning, thank you so much for returning. Uh, if this does resonate with you and you haven't yet, please give the video a like and consider subscribing. It helps the channel so much and it's totally free for you to do. You've got the Page of Pentacles. You've got the Nine of Pentacles, okay? That's the luxurious life. And you've got the Knight of Pentacles, very slow moving energy, slowly moving, taking the steps, moving forward, very committed. You've got the Strength card, so we've got a major arcana here, needing to be strong to get something, go through something or get something done. You've got the Justice card, this is uh, fairness, balance, legal matters, things like that. Ace of Swords, victory. Um, Leo had a few of these cards as well. Interesting. Be sure and watch your sun, moon, and rising uh, videos so you have a better picture of what's going on. If you have a lot of Leo in your chart, uh, sun, moon, rising, Venus, you may want to check out that video. Oh boy, we got two there. Okay. We've got the Seven of Swords, someone that cannot be trusted. This is deceitful energy. The Ten of Cups, this is, uh, you know, the perfect love life, the dream partner, uh, romance, all of those things. And then we have the Four of Cups here. Um, just not happy, not a happy camper here. And... Uh, the Seven of Wands, which is um, needing to defend yourself here, possibly needing to defend yourself, staying very 
you know, committed to um, who you are or your message or, you know, whatever. But this is you like saying, no, you're not going, you know, I am going to stand up for myself here. So you've got by the book, needing to follow something to the letter of the law, page of pentacles, strength with the seven of swords. Um, this is something like being given some kind of information, some news coming in that someone is possibly not following, you know, the law or convention or um, someone who's not abiding by the laws of the relationship, right? Like if it's supposed to be an exclusive, committed relationship, you might be uh, hearing from someone that there is a problem in this area. Then you have truth be told. So again, learning the truth about something that maybe you didn't know. You go from the nine of pentacles, feel like you have, you know, the life of luxury, having everything you want, to the justice, to the Ten of Cups, bringing justice to um, this dream life. So I feel like something is changing here in a big way. And then you have a higher power with the Knight of Pentacles moving forward, a brand new beginning, victory with the Ace of Swords. And Four of Cups is just like you don't want what you have and you feel like you're needing to defend yourself. So this is all kind of strange uh, to go from the justice to the 10 of cups, needing things to balance out. Um, ooh, I don't know. This could just be someone trying to move in on someone that you're with, you know, like we're gonna get some clarity because this could, uh, I could sit here and guess at a million different things that are going on, but it looks like a problem in a relationship to me. Um, Justice, Ace of Swords is like, um, you know, a new beginning, a breakup, a new beginning. Even though... You know, you may, this may be someone that who wasn't faithful and maybe you felt like you had the, you know, quote unquote, perfect partner for you. And this is you just being very, you know, dissatisfied and, and um, disappointed, disappointed in all of this over here, disappointed that, um, you know, in the person themselves, um, you know, sometimes when this stuff happens, they even turn around and try to blame it on you. And so you're, you know, having to defend yourself because, of course, it's never our fault. We can't make someone do something or if someone says, well, if you hadn't have been so blah, 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 then I would have never done that. That is never true. OK, everyone has free will. They choose to do what they want. It's just an excuse. Okay, let's get some clarity and see what's going on in this story here because it's a little strange. About five cards came out just then. We're not dealing with that. Angel teachers, guys, please give me clarity on the Page of Pentacles. What is the Page of Pentacles? The King of Swords. Someone who is rushing in to cut something out. The Knight of Swords rushing in. Some kind of a news. It's air. It's communication. Something's coming in fast and furious over here. You've got the Five of Cups, which is regret, thinking about the past. And you have the Three of Cups with the Seven of Swords. Again, sometimes... Three of Cups means they are not committed or faithful. There's a third party involved here in this relationship, okay? Uh, you're going to have to be strong through this process. Now, this could have already happened in your past, Sagittarius, where someone came in and swiftly changed up uh, the relationship here 
decided to do something that uh, they probably shouldn't have done. And yeah, not good. What's the Nine of Pentacles? Nine of Pentacles here. Nine of Pentacles. Thank you. The Chariot. Moving forward. Moving forward with the Chariot. Being guided by Spirit. Being led to rebalance. Uh, the Chariot is being guided by two, um, you know, horses typically. Um, here they're like Egyptian. They look like Egyptian um something or another. I'm not sure what those are called. To be honest, I need to look that up. But it's about the one of them is normally white and one's black or they're two different colors. And so they're being balanced on both sides uh, from one extreme to the other. So coming back into balance instead of being polarized, but you're being guided uh, by an external force, which would be your spirit to move on, even though you may have thought you had everything good, everything was great. You may not want, you know, to be moving forward or someone may be moving forward from you thinking that they're gonna have the, you know, the life of luxury. Three, we got another three, three of pinnacles uh, there with the justice card. Could be working really hard on something to try to get rebalanced after this type of event over here. Someone um, not being honest and then thinking that you have it all and something changing very quickly, okay? Again, another three that could be someone at work, okay? Someone that is around this person this partner that uh, came in and, and changed the energy. That's actually kind of like, uh, yeah, mm, it's not good. <clears throat> uh, I don't like talking about this stuff, you know, but there are some people who, you know, they're only attracted to unavailable people and they delight in, um, you know, catching someone that is unavailable and uh, it's just sad. Page of Swords, Page of Swords. So that's news coming in. Uh, you have the Page of Pentacles, you have the Page of Swords, um, Knight of Pentacles moving forward, committed, starting a new journey with that page there. Queen of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords. Getting stable, grounded, all of that. Mm. I feel like you may be thinking or going over in your mind over and over about how to move forward from all of this, okay? Almost like practicing uh, imagining what life would be like after this, if you were on your own, if you moved forward, what am I, you know, kind of like making plans to move forward. And then you have judgment, which is making a major announcement, being called, being called higher power, being led forward, new beginning, being called for what is what we want to know. What are you being called to do here? What are you being called to do? What is judgment all about? Because there's no action to the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Yeah, you know, you just want to be happy, but we can't ignore reality either. Okay, there we go. Six of Swords, moving forward, okay? Moving on, moving to new lands from choppy water to calm, smooth water. You're 
sailing towards calmer shores here, okay? This is just too much drama for you over here, Sagittarius. Um, and uh, yeah, I think you are moving forward from this situation because, um, you know, once this kind of stuff happens, once trust is broken, um, in my mind, like, it, to me, my personal opinion, I don't think it, you can get it back. Once trust is gone, it's gone. Um, and that's all there is to it. So let's take a look and see moving forward. Well, let's look at, look at this. What What's going to go on moving forward here? What's going to happen? Should you move forward from this? So let's take a peek into the future here. A month or two. This is your immediate future, but let's take a, a peek a bit longer in. Oops. Five of Swords popped out. <clears throat> but that was a real pop out, not a guided pop out. <laughs> All right. Sagittarius moving forward. But September, October, November range. Sagittarius moving forward. Next three months for Sagittarius. Ah, I'm not taking all those. Sagittarius moving forward. All right. Well, of course you're hurt. Yes, yes, Three of Swords. It's going to take a little while. But look, then you've got the Four of Wands, which is joy and celebration. I think letting this stuff go, letting the heartbreak go, doing some healing from this. And then the Four of Wands, you know, that's a lot of happiness. And the Page of Wands, this is um, someone new coming in, possibly, or your spirit being renewed. You get your courage, your, your power back. You get your confidence back. So just allow yourself to heal. Allow yourself to go have fun with friends. You know, celebrate all those things. Because what if you had stayed over here, back here in this situation, it's likely to just continue repeating itself and continuing to hurt you, uh, Sagittarius, which is no good at all, okay? So I am seeing this pattern right now in relationships, not for everyone, but a lot of people that um, just not willing to tolerate this kind of stuff anymore, okay? Sacred Destiny card for Sagittarius, please. Thank you. Success. Success, Sagittarius. So I will read this to you. <clears throat> success. Satisfaction, contentment, and fulfillment are at hand. Success is waiting to expand in your life. Be ready to accept and embrace the success for it might occur rapidly. All is possible. The gates of triumph are waiting to open. Being in a state of gratitude for all the small successes in your life will give birth to larger ones. Your satisfaction will come in many forms and from many areas of life. Celebrate it. That's what that is, celebration. Celebrate it all and breathe it all in. So no matter how sm small or seemingly insignificant, this is an excellent time to make commitments, sign contracts, and make deals. Good fortune will ensue. All right. So... Moving on from here, whatever it is that you wish to find, you're going to have success with it. Something is happening right here in the next few months, Sagittarius, that renews your spirit. And I feel like you're going to be happier than you've ever been before. Okay, so I hope this helps you, Sagittarius. Again, thank you for being here. Please watch your sun, moon, and rising. And if you like this video, consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next one.